A commercial court in the United Kingdom recently ruled that Nigeria must pay a British firm, Process and Industrial Development Limited, PNID, $9.6 billion or have its assets in like sum forfeited. The judgment has continued to generate heated argument. Our business correspondent, Chinai Miriam Joseph, in this special report, unveils disturbing facts and issues surrounding the deal. In January 2010, Nigeria, through the Ministry of Petroleum Resources, entered into a gas supply and processing agreement with Process and Industrial Development Limited, a company based in the UK. Under the terms of agreement, Nigeria was to supply natural gas at no cost to the company through a government pipeline to P&ID production site. The company was in return, processed the gas and returned to the federal government lean gas to be used for power generation, again at no cost to the Nigerian government. The agreement had a tenure of 20 years from the date of first supply of natural gas. Two years after the deal was signed, Nigeria's failure to provide natural gas to P&ID led to the company serving the Nigerian government a notice of arbitration. Once there's a change of batting or change of government, the likelihood of projects that are not completed to be abandoned in the successive budgets is, is very, usually very high. The case, which came up before an arbitration tribunal in London, left the Ministry of Petroleum Resources attempting to reach a settlement agreement with the company to the tune of $850 million payable in installments. Approval for this was sent to the presidency about a week before the departure of former President Goodluck Jonathan from office. Government is a continuum, but it seemed the new administration was reluctant to facilitate approval for the payment of such humongous sum. Particularly if it shows the character of you know men and women that man the you know the, the ministries uh, include the legal department. Time went by without any response from the federal government until the arbitration tribunal affirmed that Nigeria had failed to perform its own side of the deal, thereby giving P and ID the right to claim damages with interest. After unsuccessful appeals in London, the federal government finally took up the matter at the Lagos High Court. Despite the judgment from the Lagos High Court and the continuous back and forth between both parties, the arbitration proceedings in London on the 31st of January 2017 issued its final award. The tribunal insisted that the company would have played its own part of the contract if Nigeria had not reneged on its own obligations. It therefore ruled in favor of PNID, ordering Nigeria to pay $9.6 billion being the net value of profits which would have been earned by the company, including a 7% interest per annum from March 2013. $9.6 billion is about 20% of Nigeria's external reserves and 2.5% of GDP. This does not include the country's sovereign debt profile of over $80 billion. Now, if the final ruling was given in 2017, how come the federal government failed to pay or appeal the ruling? Obviously, it may be a norm in Nigeria to ignore court orders and assume nothing will happen, but on the contrary, the reverse is the case in other parts of the world. Lack of diligent prosecution of cases in which Nigeria is involved is also a major challenge to be addressed by the government. Another issue of concern is the manner in which government officials enter into all sorts of agreements on behalf of the government without weighing corporate interest. However, the gas supply and processing agreement with P&ID would have been beneficial to Nigeria, particularly in the supply of lean gas to the national power grid for both industrial and domestic use. For now, the court gave an order enforcing the final award and there is no guarantee that Nigeria will succeed with either its appeal or its request for a stay of execution. It's not the time to start asking questions who did what, who did not do what. So Nigerians should think of how to move forward. While Nigerians hope that no similar case in other jurisdiction come up anytime soon, the handling of this case surely requires major steps to be taken to ensure this near embarrassment does not occur again. Chinamaram Joseph, STV News, Abuja.